Welcome to the course on Retail Loss Prevention. Click the Enter button to begin. Hi, I am Peter and I will be your mentor for today. After completing this module, you will be able to identify common methods of theft, recommend ways to prevent retail loss and assess the theft and deal with it in accordance to company policy and Indian law. To proceed further, let's watch a video. Shoplifting, burglary, and vandalism are a continuing security threat for retail and commercial establishments. But first, we need to know some common methods of theft. Click each icon to know them. Look out for push-outs. This is where shoplifter overloads their trolley with expensive goods, wait for their opportunity to push the trolley out without making payment. Provide training to employees on how to spot a shoplifter. Let us perform an activity to spot a potential shoplifter. Select the correct option. That's correct. A potential shoplifter tends to avoid eye contact. Shoplifting is not treated as a separate offense, but is a type of theft punishable under Section 379 of the Indian Penal Code, or IPC Section 378 of the IPC defines. Theft is an act whereby a person with a dishonest intent takes away movable property without the consent of the owner. Section 378 of the IPC focuses on possession, and states that the property must be in possession of someone irrespective of the owner being present or not. Section 379 of the IPC states that, anyone who commits theft will be punished with an imprisonment of a maximum of three years, or a fine, or both, depending upon the gravity of the offense committed. Here is a chance to test your learning. You have to use your understanding of the concepts to answer the following question. All the best. Well done. You have selected the correct option.